we want an area of the form to only be visible some of the time. So when we have two radio buttons up here, remember with radio buttons only one can be selected at a time if you've created a radio button group. So when the movie tickets radio button is selected, we want this field set with all of its inputs to be visible. And when the complete cinema package is selected, we want this field set to be visible. So these are two entirely different options that we only want visible when a particular radio button is selected. So to do this, we want to start out by making them not visible when the page loads. And we're going to do this in the style sheet. So if we look over here, here's the two, here's the two buttons that are in the radio button group. But here's the field set. One has ID Movie only. And here's the other field set that has ID Movie Plus. And we want to set those to not be visible. So I'm going to take those ID values and in the style, I'm going to, in style.css, I'm going to create a style block, and you do this too, for movie ID, remember with ID, use the pound sign. So we're looking for an element that has movie only, and the other one is movie plus. So either ID movie only or ID movie plus. We want to set the display to none. If we save that and refresh, then both those field sets are gone. All right, and all we see is the form without either of those. So they have to choose a type of experience before they're exposed. Now notice when we select on these, nothing is happening. So that's how we make a section of the form not visible when the page loads.